Hi, my name is Tate Mitchell and welcome to what I guess is now a plant YouTube channel. In this video, I will be unboxing a ton of different plants that I've ordered online over the last month, including two very exciting ones. If you hang out until the end, there's two extremely exciting plants that I was so excited to unbox. I should not be playing with scissors. But let's just jump into this video. I got some mail here. This I ordered from a person selling plants on a Facebook group and they had some cool stuff. And so I thought that I would go ahead and grab some of it. I forget exactly what I ordered. So it's kind of a mystery box, but it's also like stuff that I want. And I knew that I ordered it, but I just forget what it was. So <laughs> let's see. Alrighty, their little business card. They are called Hen Fruit Farms is the place where I got these. Packaged really nicely, it has this fluff in here. I'll definitely be reusing that to send some of my plants with. Okay, so let's start with this one. Oh, it's funny, it feels like a balloon in here. Oh, because there's more of this stuff in here. That's why it feels, oh, it's warm. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. So this is a Peperomia grovolins. Grove, grovol, grovol, grovolins? I don't know. The name will be on the screen. That's crazy. It looks like it's made of plastic, but I'm super into Peperomia. As you can see, there's a bunch of Peperomia over here. And I got my first like taco looking one, if that makes sense, at Logie's Nursery when I went to Connecticut and went for a tour of their greenhouses over there. It's my Wolfgang Cre Wolfgang Crayani High. Wolf Wolfgang Crayani High. Wolfgang Crayani High. Pepperomi. And that was the first time that I'd even seen one that looked like that. And then I saw that they were selling this one and it has the same kind of thing. So, I went for it. The insides are green and like shiny and the outsides are this red color. It looks like it's made of plastic, but it's a real plant. Woo. Take this next one. Alrighty. Let's see how, oh, you can see it peeking through the top there. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so this is a little tiny Colocasia mojito. This is my first Colocasia, but look at how ridiculously adorable those leaves are. And then two. I saw this one on her Facebook purge and was like, oh my goodness, I need to own that plant. So yeah, look at that. Oh my God, crazy. Colocasia mojito. Okay, and then there's one more plant. I honestly don't remember at all what this is. I knew that the pepperoni was there and the colocasia, but I think this is something leafy. It's great when you order things and then you forget what you ordered because it's like someone got you a present, but you were the one that got yourself the present, so it's exactly what you want. So you don't have to be like, oh, I like it. Oh my God, I forgot about this. Okay, so this is Philodendron Birkin. So I'm looking at it closely because these leaves are not white striped at all. I'll put a picture like here of what, here, of what uh, the Philodendron Birkin usually looks like. The reason I got this plant was because I had never seen one so little. And I really wanted one, but I didn't want to get like a huge plant because this is the only room really where I keep my plants in my house. And so I don't have a ton of space. As you can see, that's why everything is like full of plants. So I wanted to get a little one. So this is a little tiny philodendron birkin. So I think as they get older and more mature, they start to get the white lines on them. So that's why this one doesn't have it yet. This one leaf broke off in transit. Yeah, this stuff shipped really, really well. It was packaged very delicately. All the plants look like they're in great shape. They're all still damp, but not like too wet and everything seemed fine. So 
these are all of the plants that I got from Hen Fruit Farms. I'll link their shop down below if anybody wants to look at them. I'm so excited about all these little guys and I'm going to go pot them up in dirt. I know I have a sunburn. I was laying in the sun all day and I didn't wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen, kids. I got another plant. This one is from a person who contacted me on Facebook because she said that she had a plant that she wanted to trade for one of the plants that I was selling and I was happy to trade with her so I'm very excited. The box looks like nice. I love reused packaging. This is like a cleaning product or something but she reused the package. Love that. Nice reused Target bag in here. Oh, multiple Target bags. goodness. Alrighty, this is so exciting. So this is a Pothos Global Green, which I hadn't heard of until a month ago maybe when I was on Facebook groups and I was looking around and everyone was like, oh my gosh, I need a Global Green Pothos. And I was like, I don't get it. What's the big deal? But then I look closer and it has this insane subtle variegation and it's so pretty. And so when this girl, Sarah said that she was willing to trade, I was selling Ficus triangularis variegata. So I was selling those on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. Follow me on Instagram. You wanna see some of my plants and some plants that are for sale. But she reached out to me and said, hey, can I do a trade with you instead of buying it? And she listed a bunch of the plants that she had. And I was like, okay, I'll take a global green pothos in exchange for one of my ficus triangulars for a gun. So I was very happy to do that trade. I'm super happy because so many of the things that I see on Facebook for this plant are just cuttings, but this is a full potted up rooted plant. Alrighty, so this is the plant. Very excited about this. Pothos Global Green. Yay! Okay, I'm here with another unboxing. This is a plant. It's almost midnight and I just got home from work. So I'm sitting in the basement and I'm gonna open this box because I don't want to make it wait in the box any longer. So let's go. She wrote my name, Tate Michelle. It's Tate Mitchell, but it's okay. <laughs> Still got here. This box is super light. So I think it might be a cutting. I literally have just been ordering so many plants in the last couple weeks that I don't know what any of them are anymore. Let's see. Oh, cute. Yes, it is. Oh, it's big. <laughs> okay, so this is Epipremnum Cebu Blue. Look at how big this leaf is. It's like, should we do a Kaylee Ellen head test? That's pretty big. It doesn't look very big, but I've never seen one of these in person before. I keep seeing people with like beautiful, big, full plants, like Plant Me Ashley, the YouTuber. She has a massive, beautiful, full plant of this. And I've always wanted one. But when I saw one of these go up on the, on one of the Facebook groups, I was like, my time is now. I'm ready for this. Wow. Ah! It just has like a silvery, bluish shine to it. You can't even tell because this light in this basement is just... Perfect. So excited about this. It has one, two, three, four, five, six leaves. And I'm sure a new leaf will start coming out of one of the ones on the bottom here soon. So yay. Two more boxes came while I was in the shower. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm pretty sure I know what it is because it is light like a cutting. And I only have one more cutting that I'm expecting on the way. So I should not be cutting towards myself. I should be cutting away, whatever. Okay, so in here, we have very nicely packaged. I love when I get plants that are very well packaged because then I can just use the packaging again to send out when I send plants. Oh, this is a huge plant. I didn't expect it to be this big. So this is Philodendron Silver Stripe. I still get confused with the difference between Philodendron Rio, Philodendron Silver Stripe, Philodendron Cream Splash. So this looks great. I'm very excited about this. Let me see the roots. Got some dirt. 
doesn't look like there's very much of a root system so I'm definitely going to be cleaning off all of the soil off of these roots and sticking them into water until they develop much more which is totally fine it doesn't affect the health of the plant I can just pop it in water and then when I feel like it's ready I can pot it up in soil but very excited about this one yay okay and then this box is the thing I'm most excited about this is my next project so let's see how this goes. Okay, so I see the hanging planter thing here. Uh, maybe I'll just pull it up by that. Is that the best idea? I don't know how else to... Okay, hold on. Okay, oh my gosh. This is another plant that I've never seen in person before. Oh, it's so full. Oh my god. Okay, you ready? So this is a massive pot of variegated string of pearls. This is like super, super full and there's some sun stress here. I don't know, I'll just, I'll put some inserts in because I don't want to tip it around and mess it up, but, and there's some flowers happening here. So this is an eight inch pot full of variegated string of pearls that I saw on a Facebook group and decided that I was going to get and then split up. So if anybody is looking for some variegated string of pearls, I will be selling some pots full of this so wow this is like even prettier than i thought it was gonna be very excited about this one yay so we've made it to the final two plants i would say that that variegated string of hearts nope oh i wish that was a full basket of string of hearts no the variegated string of pearls i would say that that's a pretty exciting pretty exciting plant i know that this what this one is so i'll just do this quick this box got shredded <laughs> facebook plant purges are literally going to be the death of me. That's where I spend all of my money. But I'm telling myself it's okay because I'm trying to open a plant shop. And so these plants, I'll receive them and then I will rehab them for a while and then send them off to new homes. So, okay, let's see. This one has a lot of dirt falling out. Good thing I'm bad at cleaning up. And so I just have random boxes hanging around everywhere catch the dirt from the plants. Oh ho ho! Can you already tell what it is? Yeah. Okay. This is my new Hoya Carnosa Compacta, which Yes, I have another one of right here, but if you can see, it's like kind of, I don't know if it's called reverting, but it's kind of not compact anymore. All of these little leaves are just like straight up Cardosa leaves now. So I wanted another one and this was for sale on a Facebook purge group. I'll definitely have to like wash this off because there's a ton of dirt in all the little holes and stuff. I want to make sure there's no bugs before I put it with the rest of my collection. So yay. Okay. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. This is my philodendron pink princess. I cannot believe that I actually purchased one of these. I was on a plant purge, just looking at the comments and this plant popped up and I was like, huh, that'd be an interesting plant to like propagate and see if I can make it grow in my house. And it had been a few seconds and nobody had commented that it was sold yet. And so I was like, is this my time? to buy this and I commented sold and then realized that I was the first one who had said sold and then everybody was liking my comment and being like congratulations and I was like ah what did I do <laughs> I'm telling myself that this is an investment this isn't just a plant for me because that makes me feel better about spending a good chunk of change on this so this is how it came it's nicely packaged because it's like taped in here so there's no way that it can fall out Oh, I'm nervous. You can see it in there. If I cut a leaf, I'm literally gonna cry. There it is. Ah! Okay. So this is my philodendron pink princess. I am stressed right now. I'm like baffled by how they were able to lay it so flat, but this is my 
philodendron pink princess. This is the most variegated leaf. I knew going into this that a lot of these leaves were basically not variegated whatsoever. So totally fine with that. But this leaf took on a little bit of damage in shipping, but that's the most pink leaf. And then there's a brand new leaf coming in right there. And that one looks pretty pink. So I'm going to get this washed off and potted up. I can't believe I own this plant. Like I can't believe I'm looking at this plant right now. Okay, bye. So that is the end of this plant haul video. Thank you for anyone who made it this far to see me get this amazing, beautiful plant that I'm hoping will get more pink variegation when it comes through. I guess I can do the YouTuber thing and say, if you like this video, like it and subscribe down below. My last plant tour video ridiculously blew up and I wanna say thank you for anybody who watched that watch that video. I'll link it in the description or put it up in a corner or something. I don't know. I'm new to this. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching my plant YouTube channel, I guess. I'll see you in the next houseplant video or whatever other video I feel like doing. Bye.